Good evening, fellow collectors. Okay, I've tried doing another live stream, and apparently it doesn't want to work. So we're going to do just another regular fucking video. Okay, before I get into the gifts, I want to show this one off right here. Granted, I don't like adjustable caps, but the <clears throat> Toys R Us here in Yervik selling it, so I bought it. Fucking love it. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get into the gifts first. <clears throat> now, first up is kind of a gag gift. Uh, my mother in law uh, saw this and thought it was funny. So she bought me a little boy apron. Ultimate Spider-Man little boy apron. I don't know why. She just thought it would be funny, but I, I thought it was amusing. There's no way in hell I can wear it, so I'm probably going to hang it on my wall. But, yeah. Up next, we have a newly washed... Thanos with his Infinity Gauntlet t-shirt. Uh, I believe my wife bought it for me. Yeah, my wife bought it for me. Needs to be hung up. <laughs> now, my oldest daughter. No. Or was, yeah, my, sorry, my youngest daughter. <clears throat> I got this from her. A St. Nick gnome looking thing with a spoon it's some Norwegian thing I would never understand it and for some inexplicable reason a bib yeah my youngest daughter got that for me uh, I can't remember what I got from my oldest did I get anything from her hold on guys This is for both of us, all right? all right? Okay, this is for both of us from our oldest, from my oldest daughter. Gorgeous picture of her. Now I was hoping to get uh, pictures of uh, my oldest. Yeah, I know. Give me a chance. Okay, before I was interrupted, I was hoping I was uh, going to get some pictures of my oldest opening her gifts but her dumbass foster awesome parents doesn't do pictures <clears throat> so it seems we're not gonna get any pictures of our oldest daughter from the fucking idiots <sighs> which kind of sucks because we're, we've been missing out on their lives for the better part of nearly nine years now thanks child fucking welfare but back to the gifts I got this from my mother-in-law <clears throat> this shirt comes with a uh, matching pants so i decided to be all marvel tonight considering i'm always a big fan of marvel <clears throat> oh and uh also got more jim beam I'm not done. As my wife just loves to interrupt and showing that we're trying to remind me what else I got, which I had already planned, but yeah, I got a new Xbox One controller. <clears throat> Thank you, Solvay. I already do. Okay, now to my haul that I got from a friend of mine. We'll start with the movies. First, we got Rio Steel by Hugh Jackman, well, with Hugh Jackman. Awesome movie. Anyone who likes Hugh Jackman and uh, robots fighting, good movie to have. 
Now we got Captain America Winter Soldier Steel Box Edition. I don't know if it came with anything else, but this it came as is. Got Ant Man Steel Box Edition. This one is looking like it's uh, outside of a computer or something to that effect. And like with the Winter Soldier, I don't know if it came with anything else, but it came as is. Now, I'm glad I got this from my friend because I haven't seen these in decades. We have Bruce Lee anthology has uh, the big boss fist of fury way of the dragon game of death and the tower of death it's dvd but i don't care it's bruce lee had to have it <clears throat> now on to my books this is a substantial stack, and I do mean ah, substantial. This is going to take a while. <coughs> so we'll start with the ones that are in the bags and boards first. We have Superman number 175, Joker Last Laugh. Uh, Doomsday Rex. I've never seen this book. Don't know what it's about. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. But I'll decide that later. We have The Adventures of Superman 471. Now, I'm not really into Superman that much. Granted, I like his... Um, I like The Death of Superman and The Return of Superman. The, those two story arcs I like uh, prolifically. <clears throat> and look forward to getting those story arcs back. Excuse me for a minute. Mm. Sorry, drinking and snacking here. We have Superman the Man of Steel number 64 into the sunset. I don't know what, that, what that's about, but most of these books I don't know what's what they're about. We have Superman the Man of Steel 107. Is it 107? Yep, yeah, 107. <clears throat> now, when I got these from a friend, I, I sorted them afterwards. So, Superman the Man of Steel number 108. Superman, the Man of Steel, number 109. Superman, the Man of Steel, again, part of the Joker, at Last Laugh. I don't, I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> Any of my uh, viewers who um, who's knowledgeable on these uh, books, post them in the comments. And a double. I got a couple of doubles, well, several doubles in these. We have Superman and Man of Steel. I don't know what issue. What issue is this? Okay. Superman and Man of Steel, 123. Superman and Man of Steel, number 124. <clears throat> Superman and Man of Steel, number 125. And the devil. We have annual 1996 Superman, the League of Supermen. Uh, this is <clears throat> annual number eight from 1996. We have Superman number. Okay, Superman number 30. 
We have Superman number 32. Superman 111. Superman number 113. Now, I heard that uh, some years, well, hell, some decades ago, Superman was changed into this blue looking thing. I don't understand why. But we have Superman and Man of Steel number 69. And as you can see, the blue weird Superman. I don't understand the purpose of that. <clears throat> we have two Titanic Tales featuring Superman number 133. Apparently it's a double book. Not like um, Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine, which is a true double book, as far as I'm uh, that's in my op opinion. But yeah, we have Superman and Man of Steel, number 71. Looks like uh, some villains plotting revenge. Kind of looks like the shadow, almost. Take a little pause here. <coughs> Ooh, that went down wrong. Superman Adventures number nineteen. <coughs> Superman Adventures number forty six. <coughs> and the Adventures of Superboy, number 541. <clears throat> Hold on, another pause here. Mm. Mm. Okay. We have Excalibur, number 53, featuring Spider Man. Spider Man 2099, number nine. <clears throat> now, these next, these next four, I was curious about them, so I got them. Um, with the hopes that they're better than the games, the well, the game franchise. We have Call of Duty, uh, the precinct. Issue number two. Call of Duty Precinct. Issue number one. And we have Call of Duty the Precinct. Uh, issue number four or five. Apparently they're, that one was kind of different. Uh, Call of Duty number two. The Brotherhood. I'll read them if I don't like them I'll trade them or get rid of them somehow now I believe I have this one already Marvel Comics presents Wolverine number 127 I think that's uh, the old uh, Black Widow I can't really remember but yeah now this book I saw how to how to get it <clears throat> because I love the art in this Dragonlance issue number three Legend of Huma I had the novel love the novel don't really remember much of it but I do recall it was an awesome novel we have the Mighty Thor, number 451. I think this is the first appearance of Blood Axe. I'm not sure. Uh, those who know about that book, let me know in the comments. We have uh, Earth's Mightiest Avengers, or Mightiest Heroes, Avengers Finale, 
it's a PSR issue. I don't remember what that one is, what the PSR means, but oh well. We have Avengers West Coast, number 84, starring Spider-Man. <clears throat> Another Avengers West Coast, guest starring Spider-Man, number 85. The one before that was number 84. I'm not sure if I said that, but yeah. Again, Avengers West Coast, guest starring Spider-Man, number 86. <coughs> Avengers West Coast, number 91. We have Avengers 351. We have Avengers Fear the Reaper, part one of three, issue number 352. Unfortunately, I don't have part two, but I do have uh, part three of three, issue 354. We have Spider-Man 2099, number eight, issue number eight, I mean. Now, I'm not a big fan of Ghost Rider, but these uh, were in the lot. So we got Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance, issue number eight. Ghost Rider, issue nine. Ghost Rider, number 17. Ghost Rider number 29. X Factor number 89. Cool looking cover. Not really much into X Factor except for certain issues, but it is what it is. We have Curse of the Spawn number 25. Not much of a Hulk fan, but we have The Incredible Hulk Destruction, number 104. Interesting looking cover. Wait a minute. And apparently this issue has uh, Startling Secrets of Hulk's uh, Most Abominable, ab abominable Foe re Revealed at Last. Don't know which uh, foe that would be. We have Iron Man House of M, issue two of three. We have Spider Man House of M, issue three of five. And whoa. And a little pause. Again, cheers. <clears throat> Marvel's Greatest Comics, Ultimate X-Men, Issue 1. Marvel's Greatest Comics, X-Force, issue number one. I believe these are reprints because uh, the newest X-Force, well, this X-Force anyway, I collected them before and it did not have the, the banner up on top. So uh, that's how I know it's a reprint. Silver Surfer, number 80. Um... Apparently, Morg versus Terex. And it seems that Silver Surfer has Morag's, oh, sorry, Morg's axe. Now, this one is definitely going in my collection. What if Silver Surfer possessed the Infinity Gauntlet? Issue number 43. I believe this is uh, from volume two of What If series. 
love that book. I'm going to, definitely going to give that a read. Put that aside too. <clears throat> Web of Spider Man number seventy five. Oh, I have Web of Spider Man number one coming my way next uh, next month. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Can't wait for that fucker to arrive. Web of Spider Man number eighty four. Web of Spider Man number ninety nine. Okay, this one is an Infinity Crusade crossover. Web of Spider Man number one hundred six. We have a Spectacular Spider Man number one ninety. Spectacular Spider-Man, number 192. Now, I already have uh, an issue of this, but I'm thankful that it came in this slot. Anyways, we have Spider-Man Unlimited, number 2, uh, Maximum Carnage Finale. Awesome, awesome story arc. We have Amazing Spider-Man, number Amazing Spider-Man number 367. Amazing Spider-Man 371. Amazing Spider-Man 376 with Cardiac and Six and Stone. <clears throat> Spider-Man number 15. Featuring Beast. Spider-Man number 19, Revenge of the Sinister Six, Part 2. Another Infinity War crossover. Well, that was Infinity Crusade. This is Infinity War crossover. Spider-Man number 24. <clears throat> Spectacular Spider-Man 191. Yeah, I know those, those should have been organize a little more properly but oh well same with this one web of spider-man number 335 and we have x-men in the spectacular spider-man number 197 X-Men in the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 199. Is that right? No, sorry, 198. This one, we got some Silver Age goodness. We have Adventure Comics, number 381. <clears throat> Apparently, Supergirl is leading a gang of female thugs, and they're going to kick Superman's ass. <clears throat> and we're down to our final four. Okay. We have the Ma what is this? Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Marvel Masterworks by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. We have this number three. <coughs> <coughs> Amazing Spider-Man Masterworks. Marvel Masterpiece, Master, Master, yeah, same thing, but Volume 4, and again, same thing, but Volume 5, and now, some, a lot of you guys know I do uh, collect these type of books, um, I'm going to try to pronounce this as best I can. Fristessa Paulison. I hope I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right? Almost, yeah. Well, can you come here and just, you know look at the title? Fristessa. Okay. Okay. So yes, I did pronounce it right. And yeah, it is. It is what you think it is. 
and that is it for this video hope like hope you like what you saw <coughs> uh, if I got anything wrong or if uh, you need to if some things need to be um, touched upon please let me know in the comments and <coughs> Don't forget to hit uh, subscribe, the like button, and hit that bell for notifications. And as usual, support your LCS, support your local artists, and keep on collecting. Peace.